Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to talk about fixatives for your drawings and uh, some people have been asking about these things so I wanted to give you my opinion. I'm going to tell you about which ones I use, how I use them and stuff like that. So I'm going to get right to the point. There are two, uh, two brands of fixatives or two types of fixatives I normally use. For most of my drawings um, colored pencil drawings, graphite pencil drawings, and charcoal drawings. So I use this Kohino Hardmuth fixative. That's why I, what I use for most of the drawings. It works pretty well. I've been using it for many years. But with pastels, I tend to use this Conte à Paris uh, pastel fixative. The reason is I think it works a little bit better because this one tends to make the drawings a little bit more wet and spray in larger droplets and this one is more like uh, mist and uh, has a uh, more dense coverage which is what you want with pastels. I'm not really recommending any specific uh, fixatives or any specific brands because eventually you will find out that there is not that much different between different, uh, different brands uh, but these are just the ones that I normally use. Now I just want to talk a little bit about how I use them and the differences between fixing different types of drawings. So when you're working on uh, colored pencil drawings or graphite pencil drawings, like I said, I normally use this one and uh, I normally use very large amounts of it. So I usually spray it with two strong, st strong coats. I, I spray lots of it, to be honest. And um, I don't really worry too much about color change because um, it doesn't really alter the color too much when you're talking about black and white drawings or colored pencil drawings. And the added benefit of using a fixative with graphite pencil drawings is that it makes them less reflective. So graphite is a little bit shiny. There is always a little bit of that graphite sheen, graphite shine, whatever you want to call it. That's just the property of the material. But when you use a fixative, the surface becomes a little bit less reflective. And I've noticed, and, and this is something that I have to warn you about, when you spray two good coats, the drawing will get a little bit less reflective. I can't really tell you how much, but it will get better. But if you keep spraying it over and over again, uh, the, the surface will kind of get saturated uh, with that uh, material and it'll go back to being glossy and reflective. I don't know exactly why that is so, but um, just remember that you can't use too much. You can't keep using it over and over and over again because uh, there comes a point at which uh, it goes back to being reflective or that's at least what I've experienced. So um, in addition to fixing your drawing and not allowing it to smudge, uh, the fixative with your graphite pencil will also make, make them less reflective. When I use this with charcoal drawings, and I mostly work in charcoal nowadays, uh, I just spray a lot of it and it fixes even the softer charcoal, vine charcoal, it just uh, fixes it in its place and there is virtually no smudging. Now we have to talk a little bit about pastel drawings. Um, like I said, for pastels, I normally use this one. With pastels, fixing is a little bit more of a problem. And why is it a problem? Well, because there's usually a, uh, at least a little bit of color change. And some artists don't like that. In fact, some of them uh, don't even use fixatives with pastels. Uh, so it'll be up to you to decide whether it's worth it and whether you will want to use fixative in the first place. I have an example of a small pastel drawing I did recently. It's this drawing of a rose. And if you watch the video, you can see that the colors pretty much didn't change uh, that much uh, from uh, uh, what you can see during the drawing process. So I sprayed two light coats and there's not that much of a color change. It got a little bit darker and just a little bit duller, but that's just something that always happens with pastels. Which brings me to something that I have to tell you about. Uh, with pastels, when you're using a fixative, there are two things that you need to remember and there are two things that you need to accept. 
So if you don't like this, then don't use a pastel fixative, but it's just something that I have to tell you about. First, with pastels, nothing is ever completely fixed. Nothing is ever completely fixed. Pastels will always, always, always smudge just a little bit, or at least a little bit. And the second thing is, there is always a color change. There is always at least a slight color change. Now with uh, black and white drawings, when graphite, uh, black colored pencil or charcoal, and what you will see when you use a fixative, uh, the white spaces in the paper will get, uh, will get just a little bit darker, but it's barely noticeable. But the other values will get a little bit darker as well. So you still have that range of value and you don't really care about the hue because it's all black and white. With pastels, this is much more of a problem because when you have vibrant colors, there will be a color change. And the main problem with pastel fixative is not that it makes the colors darker, it actually makes them uh, duller, it makes them, more, uh, it makes them less saturated actually. So if you have a subject that needs to have really bright colors, like for example uh, some kind of an exotic uh, wild animal like a, a frog or, a, or maybe an insect like a butterfly or something, or you drain flowers or something, maybe those vibrant uh, colors will be very important to you. And that'll be a problem if you use a fixative or if you use too much fixative. Now let me tell you how I use a pastel fixative to kind of mitigate or reduce some of these problems. First, when I use this fixative with other types of drawings, I normally point it downwards. The drawing is on the floor or whatever. And I point it like this because I don't really care too much how I apply it with and by the way, the distance at which I use this one is about one foot or a little bit more. With this one, I want to uh, stand at a little bit greater distance. It's usually close to two feet. And I normally hold the drain perpendicular to the perpendicular to the floor so that I'm kind of spraying uh, at this angle because I want to avoid droplets and uh, getting it too wet. Um, so that's one of the things that I like to do to kind of improve the effect of the fixative. The other thing that I uh, like to use is I like to use two light coats. So two light coats with a little bit of a uh, break in between. I just spray it once, I let it dry a little bit for a minute or two and then I uh, spray another coat. Now I'm going to show you what that looks like. Uh, with this smaller piece of paper where I did a little bit of testing. So uh, this third uh, here, this third of the paper, this side, hasn't been sprayed at all. The middle has been covered with a single light coat and this uh, right side, the left side, sorry, uh, or the left third of this paper has been sprayed with two coats. So you can see there is a slight change in color all of these on the left are a little bit darker. I don't really know if the camera picks up on that, but the color, uh, the change in color is not that disturbing, if you will, that, but that's because I use very light coats. But what you need to remember is the lighter you go with your uh, fixative spray, the less fixed it'll be. So let me just show you. If I try to lift up a little bit in this area where I use the largest amount of fixative, it's still coming off. It's still coming off. Naturally, if I use it here, where I didn't use it, it's coming off a lot more. There is way more dust in this area, and you can see that I didn't really leave too much of a mark here where it was sprayed. So, uh, what you'll need to accept is when you spray the pastel drawing with a fixative, as long as you don't use too much, it won't change too much. But it also won't be completely fixed. If you fix it so much that, it, that barely anything comes off, then you will get a huge color change, like a, maybe a 50% drop in saturation, which is huge. That's completely unacceptable for most artists. In fact, some people would say that even 10% drop in saturation is unacceptable for them. So you'll just have to find some kind of a middle ground, something in between that works for you, I guess. But the thing is that when you do spray it with, with at least some fixative, 
the pastel drawing, which is normally very easy to smudge, becomes a lot more manageable. Um, there is less smudging, there is less uh, residue that can be moved around. Um, it can be handled more easily if you want to frame it or ship it. So I personally like to spray everything with at least a little bit of fixative. But like I said, with pastels, these are just some of the things that you need to be aware of. Nothing is ever completely fixed. And if you don't want a huge color change, you might want to go very lightly with that fixative spray. Uh, I just want to warn you about a couple, of, a couple more things that you can't really see here. When you're using a fixative spray on uh, toned paper, the darker the paper it is, uh, the darker the paper is, the more of a problem it'll be because darker colors tend to break through uh, the the layers you apply when you use a fixative. And also, if you used several layers of pastels, and I only have a single layer here, so that's not much of a problem. But when you use layers and you work from light to dark. When you spray uh, the drawing with a fixative, sometimes those darker layers will tend to swallow up the lighter layers and kind of subdue your highlights a little bit. That's another problem that you will experience, which is why you want to go really light with a fixative. Um, pastels are not my favorite medium, but like I said, these are just some of the things that I, uh, that I would like you to keep in mind if you choose to use uh, pastel fixative. I don't really recommend these two brands that I'm using. I like them, they work for me, but if you want to use something else, it'll probably work. There's not that much difference between brands. If you want to see more thorough tests on pastel fixatives, you should probably check out Jason Morgan, Jason Morgan Wildlife uh, Artists. Artist, uh, he has done extensive testing on this, but uh, I think he didn't really didn't really find a perfect fixative yet, I'm pretty sure he hasn't. So uh, some, some of those artists who are very particular about colors will choose not to use any fixative at all. But with other types of drawings, you can actually douse them in fixative. I used to do that a lot with my graphite pencil drawings and charcoal drawings. So that's that. I hope you found some useful information in this video. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'm going to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.